Hello and welcome to another You School Me presentation. Today I'm going to show you how to set up spaces in Leopard. Now spaces is a fantastic new feature and basically it's like having up to 16 different monitors. Anyway, I'm going to show you how it works and how to set it up. So what we need to do is either from the dock, launch system preferences, or if it's not in the dock, you can click on the apple in the upper left hand corner of the screen and choose system preferences. Then under the personal line at the top, we click on Exposé and Spaces. Now, we want to work on Spaces, so we make sure it's selected there. And I'm going to start by clicking Enable Spaces. Now, we can choose how many rows and how many columns there are. Now, normally I will just have four windows, but you could add three rows of three columns, or maybe just one. Um, I'm going to click minus to get our two rows and I'm going to have two columns. Now the next thing we want to do is choose our shortcut keys to activate spaces. So F8 is very handy. We can leave that selected. Um, you can also choose a mouse button here. So I might set mine to mouse button 3. Okay. Now to switch between spaces, um, I always like the command plus arrow key, so I'm going to select that. And again, you can choose number keys. I might do command one, two, three, four. Beautiful. Now, okay, so that's all done. I'm going to change this to F13 just because um, that's what I like, but you can have it as you wish. I'm also going to enable show spaces in the menu bar. So as you can see up here, we have our little spaces icon where we can switch between the windows. So I'm going to show you how this works. Basically, I'm going to close this now and I'm going to open up all my most used applications. So email, I'll also have my browser open, I'll also have iChat open, I'll also have system preferences open. Okay, so already you can see it's really cluttered. But what we can do is if we press F8 or F13 in my case, it will launch spaces. And I'm going to put my system preferences in this window here. I'm going to click and drag mail down there and I want to have iChat over in this window. So now I'm going to click once in my upper left hand window and as you can see there's just Safari. So I set mine up so when I press command right arrow key it will go to the next space left right down left up so you can just scroll, scroll around all these different windows. You can also use the um, keypad so I might press command 4 and it will take me to the fourth pane in spaces command 2 3 and 1 now I'm going to press F13 again in your case it will probably be F8 and I'm going to put these all back in the one window again so I just click drag the application and then I can click here so that was spaces remember we can also change the space up the top and it's a really great way to maximize your desktop and really take advantage of having a small screen but it's a really nice way of making it always look very tidy and it's really quick and simple to switch between them. Okay, so that was Spaces on Leopard. I uh, hope it was useful and I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Check us out on YouTube, subscribe to our channel, youtube.com forward slash youschoolme. We're also on Vimeo and the official blog is youschoolme.tumblr.com. Thanks for watching and we'll be back with more handy hints later.